Hello, my friends. I'm back. So, got to work tonight, so we're going to do something simple. I'm going to make a couple black coasters, and we're going to put some of the... I'm going to put some uh, those laser stickers that I like so well. We're going to put a couple of those in there. And I found a new idea I want to try. So we're going to try this. I'll tell you about it when we get to that step. Uh, I'm just going to do two coasters for now. Um, so I'm going to put you guys on a quick pause. I'm going to mix my resin up. Uh, we're going to put some black pigment paste in it. And... We will come back pour that, and here in a couple hours I will come back, put the stickers on it, and show you what my idea was, and we'll see how it turns out. So, I'll be back in a minute, guys. Okay, I'm back. So we're going to mix in a little bit of black pigment paste here. Just wipe it off here, off the stick. Put it in there like so. This stuff works really nice. I was really impressed. The only problem is, it's messy. Messy, messy. I get it all over me. Alright. black color wow all right I'm four coasters here and they're not very deep anyway so I'm really not going to go deep in them just for that reason okay so now I mixed up way too much resin because it's hard to mix I only mix two ounces of resin and in this bigger cup like this it's really hard to mix a smaller amount so all right stuff all right let me find a mold to put this in guys and I'll be right back Oops. Okay, so I'm just going to pour my holographic coaster here. So we're going to pour the rest in here. Alright. Get clean my bowl out here. Clean my cup out this around here all right so I'm gonna give this just a quick spritz I don't see any bubbles though oh, I see one I'll take it back I lied. there we go okay perfect so I will see you guys in a couple of hours. We'll come back. We'll put the stickers on. I'll show you my other idea. And we'll go from there. See you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay guys, so I'm back. So, let me tell you my thoughts here. I watched a person last night, I can't remember her name, on YouTube, who took... Let's show you here what she took. And she put it in her... In her resin project and it was phenomenal and I never thought I'd be using it and it was this and I don't know how good mine is I've had it for years they are these glitter glues from Dollar Tree and uh, she used her silver and gold and I think she had the blue 
in something. And she used them to outline like a sticker or whatever. And it stayed in place. The resin didn't float everywhere. It was right where she wanted it. And it looked great. And I thought, well, I kind of want to do that, but I don't want to use these. And I thought, well, what else could I do? Well, then I got to looking in my stash of stuff. And I realized that I have tulip glitter paint. And I thought, well, do I want to use it? But then the more I got to thinking about it, I was like, you know what? What I think I want to do is I have some holographic glitter. I'm going to put a little bit of that in. I'm going to put some clear glue. And I'm going to put it right where I want it. We're going to let it dry. We're going to put our sticker where we want it. And then we're going to pour clear resin over the whole thing. So we're going to see if this works. Let me grab my holographic glitter real quick. Okay, so I got my glitter, and it's holographic glitter. I got it in, I don't remember what I ordered. I ordered, I think it was resin or something, and I got it in the pack. And uh, you don't get a whole lot of it, so I've been rationing it, really, really, really rationing it. But it's about the same colors. If you look, it's about the same holographic look as this. So my coasters are cured enough that I'm going to put this in. And then I'm going to pick which stickers I'm going to put in. You saw these in my haul the other day, my Temu haul. Such cute stickers. I'm trying to decide if I want to do all the same character or if I want to do different characters. I want to do different ones. Okay, well I'm going to do the dolphin for sure. off to clear. Is this a dolphin? No, this is a whale. That's all right. We'll do our, we'll do the whale over here. No, we're going to do him in the one. Oh, isn't that pretty? Wow. He's beautiful. All right. We'll do the seahorse in this one here in the back. Seahorse. These are a little tricky to heal. Not as bad as some I've had, though. Pretty? Wow. That is gorgeous, guys. I love this holographic glitter. Holographic design, period. And let's see, which one do we want to do in the center here? I want to do a jellyfish. See me fight with this like I was uh, tying the knots on the deal the other night. Oh, and at the end of this video, guys, I'll post a picture of the wind chimes. There we go. Gosh, that took a long time. All right.
to work tonight from 10 at night to 6 in the morning. I'm not loving this shift, not going to lie. Alright. So that's what we're doing with those. Come back here. So I don't want to lose them, guys. Thank you guys for the suggestions on the molds. Um, I think maybe that's like an issue with some people. We've had this, we all have the similar issues. People that deal with a lot of resin molds and stuff. Uh, finding a place to store them and doing it where they're going to be kept in good shape is not an easy task. Alright. Got these back in now. Um, one of the things when Tendu sent me the stuff that they picked for me instead of it coming in the crinkly plastic, it came in these. So I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my molds in here and then I have I have a large plastic tub but I really don't have a whole lot of room for it but I'm going to see if I can make some room and that's what that's where hopefully all my molds are going to go until they outgrow all of them but I got about four or five of those so that's my plan for that all right so I'm just going to take some of this clear glue I'm going to pour it in here like so just a little more And I'm going to dump the holographic glitter in here. Alright, let me get a spoon here because I have not, I have not, I'm going to dump the whole thing in. this glitter all right so we're gonna stir this in to our glue isn't that pretty oh my gosh that's so pretty so now my plan is to get a brush Going to use my new little silicone spin here. Of course, this is not resin, this is just clear glue. This is going to enable us to put the glue where we want it. Let it dry in place. is going to be my this is my thoughts guys we're going to see if this works as good as her idea did because i was like well i want to use my own glitters you know i mean i want to use what the dollar tree has i thought well what a great idea if this works to be able to put glitters i mean because you could put it in like uv resin and cure it one spot or whatever but this is inexpensive Should work just fine. I don't see why it wouldn't. This way, it won't all. Cause if I put, if I just put glitter in my clear, or if I tried to just put glitter here around the edge, the minute I put my clear on it, it's gonna float everywhere. Like I said, I could mix it with a little bit of resin, let it sit, but then that takes another hour or two before it's set enough that you can put the glitter over the top of it. I mean, the clear over the top. And this stuff will dry in probably 10 or 15 minutes. And 
we can come in and put our clear on. And then we will come back tonight and see how they did. Perfect. Look at that. I love that. I love glitter, but I just want to be able to control my glitter. If that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it did to me. Okay. Got a turtle hanging out over here. All right. Do this one the same way. I got my well over a little bit too far. It's still spray when I touch the glitter, but that's all right. What do you think, guys? You think this is going to work? I think once this dries and I pour my resin on, the glitter is not going to move. I hope so, because this is going to be big deal for me because I'll be able to control where I put my glitter and if you remember the clock issue I had where I put my glitter in and it sank Let's see I could have done something similar to this we could have actually place the glitter strategically where I want it cool guys so how are we doing today I'm doing laundry watching YouTube talking to you guys so I see quite a few of y'all liked the nerdy crafter video last night I was so happy to get that kit and like I said in the video when I have a couple days off because I really want to delve into it right I want to do this the way I want it to be done, you know. I want him to turn out good. Don't want to break a leg when I take him out. <laughs> ah, I better put that on the side of the mold. There we go. I'm trying to see this one. This one's over a little farther. Their glitter out. I feel like this holographic glitter goes perfect with these stickers. I mean, it's like a spot on match for them almost. Especially the sparkly stickers. Now, the geometric ones, maybe not as quite as much. A chunkier glitter would be probably better with them like geometric shapes or something but I'm like you know what I'm digging this glitter and I'm digging these stickers been dying to try this This is the only glue. This is only glue. Nice, nice, nice. Almost done here, guys. I guess I could have just showed you on the first one and Put you guys on pause until we come back to pour the clear. But I wanted to show you how you can control where you put it. Alright, how are we looking? I'm going to use a piece over here. Could you shake it a little bit more, maybe?
All right, so one of the things she did, and I thought it was kind of cute, and I don't know, I don't think I want to do it on this one, was she actually, on one of her projects, she took and kind of feathered her glitter out. Uh, it looked really, really neat. She took the gold glitter and she kind of feathered it out on both sides, made like little lines coming out. It almost looked like a feather. It was really cool. Let me try that on a different one. But on this one right here, we're just doing this. Let me get my little silicone gel here. A little bubble here. To make, sure she's set. make sure everything's where it needs to be. Get the glitter is all the way up to the edge on this side. Easy here. How oh, everything looks. Oh, I'm missing some spots over here. Okay, is that good push in there? All right. So I'm going to put you guys on a pause. We're going to let this dry. Shouldn't take very long. A few minutes and then we will be back and we'll pour our resin, that clear resin over the top of this and be back tonight before I go to work to see how it looks. How it demolds. The setup is very handy and it comes so clean. Loving it, loving it guys. Alright, we'll be back in a few minutes. For you anyway, a few seconds, a few minutes for me. Alright, bye guys. Hello my friends, welcome back. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so these are all dry. The glitter is dry on them. And I'm going to pour the top coat of resin here. I mixed up two ounces of resin. That's what I mixed up the last time. And this should be perfect just for topping them off. Um, I am going to go in here right quick and just make sure that my stickers are all stuck down. Push them down here gently. And everything's stuck down good. Perfect. All right. I used my new stirrer. I stirred the resin. I am using the four hour D mold because I have to work tonight. And I really want to be able to take these out and have these for a video tonight. So I should be able to demold these before I go to work. Of course, there's not much to demold. You guys can see it here, but this, I'm going to see what the glitter does over the next couple hours. I'm going to be watching this just to see and make sure that it doesn't spread anywhere when I it gets touched by the resin here. time in each one. I want to make sure they're full but I don't want to overfill them. Make sure all our glitter is covered up here. It looks so neat. This works guys. This is a cool Deal. And I don't remember, like I said, I don't remember who the girl was I was watching. When she, she was talking about being new to resin and that she had bought the Dollar Tree glitter glues to use. And she showed that and I was like, okay, that's glitter and clear glue is what that is. So why couldn't you do the same thing with glitter and clear glue? Like I said, it worked great. Her project took perfect. So I was like, this is probably a great idea. And... I wanted to find out for sure. All right, let me get my little resin gel here. Silicone. Make sure everything's touching that resin here. Okay, 
Some parts look new. Not a lot of bubbles. You can see a couple, but nothing major. Imagine the things I can do with this, with this glitter staying in place. I could put this in so many different things. Now that I know he's not, it's not going anywhere. We'll see what happens after it sits. I don't want to say anything and then come out here an hour from now and <laughs> find out it's done. Softened up the glue and spray it everywhere. That's my only concern with this, that that would happen. All right, so we'll spray this with a light shot of alcohol just to make sure. And we'll be back in a few hours to demold it, guys. What do you think? Let me zoom you in a little bit here. Can you see them? I'll bring you in closer whenever they cure. But I think they're looking amazing. And if they're cured enough, we're going to go around the outside edge of them with my silver paint pen. So... All right, we'll be back in a few hours, guys. Bye. Hello, my friends. Welcome back. So, it's time for demolding. Not much to see here as far as demolding goes. Um, this one, I'm going to pour another layer of clear over. Just because it's not completely full. This is a deeper coaster. So, I'm not going to demold that one, but I mean, you're going to be able to, you can see it clearly. Top's still just a tiny bit tacky. So I don't want to touch it. But look at the holographic. My glitter stayed right where I put it, guys. Right where I put it. Look, no glitter in the center. None around here. It didn't float. It didn't move. It stayed right where I put it. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, look at the holographic. Very nice. Very nice, guys. Oh, I love this stuff. Now, I, this is a new technique that is cool. Like I said, it, it dried clear. All you see is the glitter. It's beautiful. It didn't move. So clear glue and glitter worked. And it dried faster, and it was cheaper than using... I could have used, like I said, I could have used UV resin. I could have put it on there, cured it on it, and then poured over the top of it, and it wouldn't have moved. But UV resin is expensive. Clear glue is not. It is cheap, inexpensive, and dries faster than regular resin. Because you could do it with regular resin, too. You could let your resin thicken up. You could put it around there. And uh, I'm going to trim these edges up on this top cures completely. I have to work in an hour, so um, I wanted to be able to demold these, but so pretty, guys. Oh my gosh. And like I said, this one here, I don't know if you can see or not, there's still a little bit of room here. I don't know. Do I need that much? I guess I don't. I don't really need to put extra coat on top. Oh no, that's fine. Okay, so here's the top the seahorse and then on the back side is holographic as well very pretty oh I love them love them love them love them guys these are so pretty very cool very very cool all right guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed perfect time to do so look at this we found a new thing that works to keep your glitter where you want it Oh my gosh, this it takes my glitter stuff to a whole new level. Because I like glitter, but I hate it because it doesn't stay where you put it. If you put it here, it ends up floating out into your resin. This did not. This stayed where I put it, guys. Stayed right where I put it. And it looks gorgeous. Look at the holographic. Isn't that pretty? Can I put it on my light? How pretty guys, right? Wow. Alright. 
Bye for now, guys.